Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. Today we're going to go through how to configure both the Ethernet devices driver and the Ethernet IP driver in RS Links for connection to the Micrologix PLC. These instructions also work for the Slick 500, the Control Logix, and the Compact Logix. Pretty much any Allen Bradley Ethernet PLC. And a couple of things. Um, one, I don't actually have Ethernet on my laptop. In fact, I've been kind of reluctant to do a video on laptop selection because really I don't think it's that important what laptop you get, but I think I'll probably go ahead and do one soon. So look in the description, I'll add it to it when it comes out. But I have your typical USB to Ethernet converter that I will put right in place of the USB to serial converter that we were just using. I'll plug that in on that end and over here right above the serial port you'll see the Ethernet port and our PLC trainer. All right, and just like with the serial one, we're going to start off in RS Links, and then there's two Ethernet drivers that you could actually use in this. You have the Ethernet Devices driver and the Ethernet IP driver. So the Ethernet IP driver is slightly easier to configure because you don't actually need to enter your PLC's IP address for anything. You just have to be on the same network. But the broadcast packets that Ethernet IP uses to discover PLCs could get blocked by routers and things of that nature. So if you're having that problem, you may have to use the Ethernet device driver. We're going to go through both of them here, but to start with, we're going to select the Ethernet IP driver and click Add New. And again, just leave this right at default. Now, if you have multiple adapters, then you'll need to select which adapter it should be using. Um, in my case, I have a um, VPN adapter for TeamViewer that I use, um, So, but I'm going to use the physical Ethernet port. Then we close this, and we'll go to our Argus Who. And you can see right there is our PLC. And just to make sure, we'll unplug the Ethernet from this PLC. And this is actually a good check to do, especially if you're on a network that may have lots of PLCs on it. But we unplug it, and within a few seconds, we, we should see that red X in there. There's a red X. We'll plug it back in, and red X goes away. So this is definitely the PLC that we're working with here. So let's say that it didn't show up. There's two possibilities. One, something is blocking the broadcast packets that the Ethernet IP driver uses, or there's an issue with your network configuration. So next, we're going to try the Ethernet devices driver just as if it didn't show up. So we'll go back to configure drivers, and we're going to delete this driver. You don't have to delete the driver, but I'm just trying to make it really clear what's going on here. So we deleted that driver. Now we're going to go to the Ethernet devices driver. And we're going to click the Add New. Again, just leave this right at default. There's no need to change it. And mainly, it's going to ask for the IP address of this PLC. So if you purchase one of our trainers, the default IP address is 192.168.110. But if you didn't purchase it or you have a different program in it, you may need to discover the IP address of it. Now, if you have 1100, you can actually do it from the front display. Okay, here is the default display of the Micrologix. And we're going to click the Escape button. And that'll bring us to the main menu. It starts with IO status. And we'll scroll down and find advanced settings. Then you click OK. And then we're going to scroll down to Enet config and click OK. And you can see right here the IP address is 192.168.110. So we're going to type that IP address right here 192.168.110. And click OK. Close. And now we're going to go to the Ethernet devices driver we just created. But now we can see that there's our PLC. So that's how you can go online through Ethernet IP or Ethernet devices. So, again, it's always a good check if you're not sure what you're connected to is unplug the cable. And we'll look over here, and in a few seconds we should see a red X come up, which we do. We plug it back in, and the red X goes away. So this is definitely the PLC that we're working with. Okay, so for those who are having some issues and are like, hey, this didn't work for me, uh, go to the next video in this series where we're going to go through how to troubleshoot connections between your PC and your PLC over Ethernet. Chances are you just have something with your IP configuration. We'll tackle that in the next video. We hope that you found this video helpful, and we'd like to thank our Patreon supporters for sponsoring this video. Thanks. Till next time. See ya. Your PLC is connected to the... Power supply. Power supply. Power supply is connected to the... Input module. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new kid series coming out that you can play for your children so that they can become PLC programs when they grow up. <laughs> when did we grow up? <laughs>
Never. Watch out for the deer! Oh my goodness! Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.